They always wanted to be next to mommy and she would sing to them and laugh at them. And she was like so soft-spoken and never got angry. And she was just like incredibly nurturing. Powerful words from the couple's nanny, Lauren Almeida, who claimed things between Jennifer and Fotis were normal at first, but Lauren revealed everything changed during a trip to Miami in 2017 with Jennifer Fotis and their five children after Jennifer revealed some shocking news. She told me she believed that Fotis was having an affair. And did she say why she believed that? She just said she had this feeling, he's been acting weird, and I didn't really believe her at first. And in a stunning testimony, Lauren said during that very same trip, she also met Michelle for the first time. During this trip, did you meet someone named Michelle Traconis? Yep. And on that dramatic note, court was adjourned for the day. Lauren continued on day two of her testimony, talking briefly about the day she met Michelle. Did Mr. Dulos introduce his children to the defendant as well? Yeah, I think prior to that trip. They were calling her Mitchie, and so it's, and they hugged her, so like they already knew her. Um, I believe it was just the two boys. So. Lauren went on to disclose never before her details of the day Jennifer went missing. By that point, Fotis and Jennifer were in the middle of a contentious divorce, with Jennifer having custody of the kids. You saw Jennifer's purse in the, in the house on the floor? It was in the doorway between the mudroom and the kitchen. And usually she has it on the counter where she takes it with her? Yes. So that was, it was on the floor and that was an unusual thing? Yes. But having no idea Jennifer was missing yet, Lauren testified she then picked up the kids from school and brought them to the home, into the very room which is now thought to be the crime scene of Jennifer's murder only hours before. So you eat lunch there? <sighs> yes. And then you brought the kids to New York? Yes. She also claims just hours after Jennifer was missing, Fotis, whom she didn't talk to for years, began texting her, seen here in text shown in court. These are your communications with Fotis, right? Yes. He was reaching out to you while you were talking to the police? Yes. According to the texts, Fotis said he talked to officers at 1 a.m. after Jennifer was missing. The issue was, prosecutors claim not only did he know she was already dead, they also hadn't spoken to him at all. Did you learn that Fotis, in fact, was not cooperating with the police? At that moment? After. After that moment? Yes. In days, uh, yeah, we learned that he was not cooperating. Okay, even though Fotis told you he spoke with an officer? Yes. All right, thank you. It's wild. The trial is expected to last through February. Traconis has pled not guilty, and as far as Lauren, she is still the nanny for Jennifer's five children who now live with Jennifer's mother.